This is kind of funny. So the dude that made Dragon Ball Z died, and obviously somebody that worked at Sweet Baby, the first thing they thought of is about how he was a racist. Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. So today we're going to cover more Look at updates this. regarding the Sweet Baby Inc. situation. Is this but cute? First, for both context behind a portion of today's video, as well as for your own personal knowledge, I have some bad news to share with you. Last yeah. night it was announced that the legendary creator of Dragon Ball, Akira Toriyama, has passed away at the age of 68. This is obviously very upsetting news for countless people across the world, as his works have connected with so many, He's been including the dude. millions of people in the West, like myself, whose Hell earliest yeah. exposure to anime can be traced back to series like Dragon Ball. While That's I haven't followed the anime. series or Toriyama's work as closely over the recent years, at least compared to others, mm -hmm. anyone can acknowledge the almost inhuman level of contributions he provided to multiple mediums. Having said that, yep. this is the internet. In moments like these, there's always going to be some people ready to sully the name there's of There's always somebody who has to have the hot take, and they have to say the thing that like, oh, this is popular? Well, guess what? It's actually bad. It's the same people that are like, oh yeah, Baldur's Gate 3 is bad, or Elden Ring is bad. It's like, these are people who their entire personality is not liking something. Person the contrarians, in an yeah. For clout or to make some ridiculous Absolutely. hot take. And we saw that happen with who else but an employee of Sweet Baby Inc. The same employee responsible mm -hmm. for launching the harassment campaign against the Steam group. Remember what I said before about people who have problems are problems? This is a problem person. Can you imagine like having this person as like an employee? How much extra work that you would have to deal with just for like all of the little problems that they create? These little issues that have been invented. Oh my god. It's annoying as fuck. It's an HR nightmare. And yeah. it's creator. It'd be fire. Well, after unprivating their yep. account, shortly after they made this tweet, not even 24 hours after the announcement of Toriyama's uh -huh. death, essentially saying that he did a bad job in terms of representation in the series that he created. To hear this right. from a Sweet Baby Inc. employee is both frustrating and also somewhat poetic it's they... it's i'll tell you one thing it's certainly not is surprising it's not surprising at all they fail to realize why toriyama's works were so successful it's a bit of a meme on social media yeah. but it rings true the dragon ball fan base is one of the most diverse you will ever see it's, it's more diverse than anything that they're ever gonna put into a video game and the best part about it is that it's authentically diverse it's not fake diversity, it's actual diversity. And that's what I think these people probably really, you know, somewhere down deep inside, I'm sure they realize that, that it's like this person isn't following like our preordained set of rules of like what's acceptable and not acceptable of like how to be diverse. And somehow they're still being successful. And I'll tell you why. Because the content's good. And because it's made authentically. And this is something that these people can't seem to understand. One of the very few things sad. that people of any color or any background can seem to enjoy collectively. And why does that story connect so well with people? Yeah. Well, it has nothing to do with the color of the characters, but everything to do yeah. with the story and the content of those characters. Toriyama created a story that connected with a global audience. Exactly. Sweet Baby Inc. and their ilk don't create they can't even make a story that connects with the people that are already buying the game like they can't even figure their own shit out like what is this rather they twist pander and force yeah. characters and stories to mold to their agenda but in the end unlike the works of mm -hmm. toriyama they end up connecting with no one and of if you want something not. to cheer you up at least momentarily <laughs> for a short period this Sweet Baby Inc. employee was <laughs> their suspended, suspended, but about 30 minutes later, they would return to their account. Which, they... to be fair, like, I mean, they're they're dumb, but, like, they shouldn't get banned for that, right? I mean, is it... I mean, disrespecting Dragon Ball Z on the day that the creator dies, like, maybe you should get banned for that. But, like, it is still funny that it happened. They would also go yeah. private mode and w. basically Elon? go back yeah, into true. hiding, which seems like the smart thing to do since they can't seem to stop making bad tweets.
Yeah. But moving forward, we return to Alyssa, the senior editor at Kotaku, oh, this is who recently wrote an article yeah, about this Sweet Baby Ink situation. Now, what have they been up to? Well, one of the things they've done is repost that message from the Sweet Baby Ink employee going... I love how they're so tribalistic about it, you know? It's like if you're... If, if like, they just, like, blindly support each other, no matter what. It's like, basically... <laughs> I'm trying to think of, like, a good way to say this. It's like, you know, whenever you're, like, a little kid and you do, like, gross stuff or you do something stupid and then, like, all of your friends do something even dumber to, like, one-up the first guy that did the first dumb thing? I feel like they're in a competition for that right now, you know? Like, y'all did that whenever you were kids. Yeah, like, oh, let's do something even stupider than this. And it's like, they just, it doesn't matter what it is. They're like, oh, yeah, of course this is better. Oh, my God. After Toriyama showing support for Elmer's that message. Blue, yeah. And also, as we have continued, yesterday we went over the article that she posted uh -huh. about the Sweet Baby Ink situation. And one of the big problems is that <laughs> in the replies to that tweet sharing the article, she said, you can't be racist against white Bro, people. Bro, I love community notes, man. It's just like... There it is, you know. The people complain uh, are outsiders to the communities that they're trying to destroy. Why can't these people build their own communities? What's your take? <laughs> well, they have, and their communities suck. And so now they're coming into the good ones and ruining those too. It's like, no, like, yeah, you can have your game and your community and you can do your little thing over there. Like, why don't you, if you don't like Twitter, like all these people probably hate Elon Musk, go over to Blue Sky, go over to Mastodon. I'll tell you why they're not going over there. It's because nobody gives a fuck about that platform and they're addicted to the attention. That's the real reason. There's no actual ethics or morality to this at all. These people can't even, they, they cannot even regulate their own entertainment to make it in line with their morality or their ethics. But they want to tell everybody else what to do. You can't even regulate your own entertainment. It's crazy. Go over to Blue Sky. If you don't like Twitter, leave. Get the fuck out of here. But they never will because they're addicted to the attention which drew even more criticism and a community note yeah uh, basically uh disproving what she's trying to claim and what has she done in response to this criticism mm -hmm. well she made that quote her banner on twitter yes very mature person as you can tell well as it turns out that's not the first time mm -hmm. that Alyssa has had a very strange twitter banner as reported by grums here only a few months ago she falsely accused someone else of being a transphobe which ended up being her banner on twitter a quote saying gina carano responds to kotaku senior editor that claimed she was a transphobe and in quotes the person who posted this is hot i must be referring to Alyssa, but as it turns out that's just a narcissistic edit because this is the actual quote where it says what? the person who posted this is sad and that's sad so she, she changes a quote about herself. That's actually, bro, that's actually, geez, that is sad, bro. Like, I don't even want to make fun of this. It's just depressing. Jesus, man, that's awful. Man. And this is something that Alyssa that's celebrated sad. on Twitter and routinely oh, falsely accused this person of being a transphobe and tries to take credit for changes made to the Mandalorian uh -huh. because of her work. Very yep. immature stuff, but what has Alyssa also been up to? Well, she's reporting that on International Women's Day, she has received dozens of emails like this and dozens. <laughs> I'm just so glad that they all waited for it to be International Women's Day. Yeah, that's why they're doing it. Dozens more oh, threats, God. where of course she's trying to paint the recent uh, criticism that she's that's facing. It, guys on the fact that she's a woman, which of yeah. course, none of this has of to course. do with the fact that Alyssa is a woman. No one cares that she's a woman. We just care <laughs> gives about a fuck. the racist comments that she has made she's and just also obnoxious. her absolutely terrible article defending yeah. Sweet Baby Inc. and those like them. Well, also a lot of people are criticizing this supposed proof of the threats she's getting because as you can see, all sort of personal identifying information like the name and time of this email have been conveniently cropped out 
And this is something that was pointed out in the replies. This user saying, where is the timestamps and sender info? Where Alyssa replies, oh girl, they're not going to love you. Referring I don't, to what is that even the mean? fact that this is a black woman making this reply. And, they're, and Alyssa's essentially saying that you're like a pick me because you're trying. Whoa! Oh my god! I didn't even- I remember seeing this. I didn't really read into the context. Oh my god, bro. Remember what I said before, bro? About how the people that say that they're not racist, you know, this is it. That's- isn't it crazy? And why aren't they gonna love her? I wonder why. Oh, man. It's just crazy how the same thing happens every time, isn't it? Okay, let me make sure that I, I, I'm explaining this properly. So basically, th this uh, Alyssa puts... Oh, sorry. Let me make sure I have it in the right place. She puts this post out, and she omits all of the information about the sender. And then this person asks, where are the timestamps and the sender info? And she posts a, a, a GIF, I guess, of saying, you fake and you phony. And then Alyssa responds back to her. Again, this girl is calling her fake and phony, saying that they're not going to love you. And why would they not love her? What would the reason for that be? Hmm. I got an idea. Who are they? Oh, gamers. Yeah, like the implication is that because she's a minority, she's like black Creole. I, I think Creole is uh, one of the Native American tribes. Maybe she's Native American. I have no, I have no fucking idea. But like the implication is that oh, they're not going to like you either because you're part of this minority group. Which again, as we just saw with the uh, Haitian, oh yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. I guess I'm totally wrong. Creole is is black and French. Really? Oh yeah, I'm totally off base. I'm an idiot. I didn't know that. Thanks. Yeah, I, I had no idea about that. Anyway, um, either way, not a white person, right? Basically, that's what it comes down to. Uh, not a white person. And so we just went through the whole thing with Dragon Ball Z to where everybody comes together for this kind of stuff. No, this actually doesn't. They're not going to love you. And so this, uh, this illustrates and kind of shows the way these people think. I would even go as far to say as they think in terms of black and white. That's just what it seems like to me. They really do. Where is the timestamps and sender yeah. info where Alyssa replies, oh girl, they're not gonna love you. Referring to the fact that this is a black woman making this reply and, they're, and Alyssa's essentially <laughs> saying that you're like a pick me because you're trying to question her proof of these supposed death yeah. threats. Yeah, seems a little bit of an odd thing for the uh, inclusion and diversity oriented person like Alyssa. And I want to say one thing. If somebody's sending you death threats or actual threats on your life and you post their info, I say fuck them. I'm totally fine with that. If Alyssa wants to post the info of the people that are actually trying to harass her and actually sending her death threats, fuck them. That's what they get. ...saying here, but... Anyways, we continue. As stated yesterday, Kotaku was the first <laughs> set of gaming journalists to come out and make a statement on the sweet babying situation. And of course, other gaming journalists saw this as an opportunity to get more Gamergate-related clicks, where they would make their articles, including from Eurogamer. And I would go over this article, but I, I don't think this. anyone actually yeah. cares, and it's pretty evident I by already this did. tweet. Nobody cared. An account with an immense level of following, and I took this screenshot about 12 hours after it was posted and had 32, 32 likes. 32 likes, wow. I Isn't it funny how just completely impotent legacy media is? It's actually crazy how outdated it is. And what's really sad about it is like, I want you guys to really think about this for a minute. When was the last time that a piece of written media had a genuine impact culturally on gaming? Like 15, 2012? That's really bad, isn't it? Written media, I can't even read. Yeah, that's why you're here. Not in this decade, did Diablo 4 patch notes? Ooh. Nintendo Power, yeah. And so it was such a long time ago. And I actually think that 
Like, I personally think that written media is one of the best ways to transmit information. I think it's better than, than video. I think it's better than tweets, obviously. I think long-form written media is the pinnacle of communication of ideas. And it's very disappointing that seemingly nobody is able to capitalize on that. I just don't think anyone cares about Eurogamer, to be honest with you. A lot of people were talking about PC Gamer and their attempt to smear everyone criticizing Sweet Baby Inc. And I think the whole article can be summed up by this completely disingenuous section right here. It says, the situation grew in scale as some Sweet Baby employees frustrated at the idea of a curated list specifically made to avoid games they had worked on acknowledged the group on social media. While the tweet has been removed, one- Acknowledge the group. This is why nobody trusts media. It's because they lie. Stop lying and people will respect you. Just stop, just stop making things up. Like what's the, what, why do we, why is this, why is this such a problem? Just stop making up, making up lies. What are you doing? Just tell the story the way it is and that's it. Like what, why is this a personal investment? Employee also discovered and shared the group's curator's Twitter account. And of course uh -huh. they don't mention what was said in that set of one employee also discovered and shared the group curator's twitter account this is what the problem is is they're just lying like they're, they're misrepresenting the situation it is so blatantly obvious to anybody who's paying attention to it even half paying attention to it that they're completely misrepresenting the situation and hoping that stupid people that still read their their uh their news site aren't going to have any other frame of reference to base their opinion on. This is clearly not what happened. It's just painful. Yeah, it, well, it's like what you need to understand is that this is one perspective that I've always had with like any media is that unless I trust the person who's writing the media, I assume that everything that's written is some form of a lie. I assume that with everything, because whenever I read articles about things that I know a lot about, I always see tremendous inconsistencies in all of those articles. So I logically assume that those inconsistencies also span to things that I'm not educated about as much. And those inconsistencies are just as bad everywhere else. It's just that I don't have the contextual knowledge to be able to see them. And they don't show it. Well, here's what those tweets were. Yep, they were is. targeted harassment. They were. That likely were the reason that this account got in trouble, where they directed their followers to falsely report and harass this Steam group as well as its yep. creator. But when you look at the author of this PC Gamer mm -hmm. article, doesn't it all just add up? And you know what, maybe I'm just being a, a, a completely ridiculous person, but like, why do these people point out that like they're pansexual in their Twitter bio? Like, is this a dating website mm -hmm. or something? Like, why is this relevant to anything? Why do I need to know this about you? I don't care, and a lot of people don't care, but it's just kind of goofy. Like, like I said, it's like, what is this, a, a dating service or something? It's very strange. But moving forward, that wasn't the only person in the industry who was coming out to defend everyone involved with this situation. Mm -hmm. We have this individual saying that they are super excited to announce that they are now the lead narrative designer and working on the Black Panther game. Interesting, very, very interesting. Well, what do they have to say about this situation? Well, they come out and say, side note, you guys do know that community notes can be added by anyone, right? I can add a community note to this post right now saying this screenshot isn't real and it can be seen by literally everyone. No, that's not how the community note functions. You have to get upvotes in order to be actually passed. Yeah, it has, to, it has to be approved by a consensus of people. If that's true, why didn't you do it? To prove that it's true. I wonder why. And the note to be made public. No updates. Yes, yeah, they're not getting any, up, any, any updates. Note, but that That's doesn't the mean problem. it's going to get approved. And in this case, this note got approved. And here we are mm -hmm. multiple days later, and it's still up. Despite, I'm sure, many people in this Reporting circle and here crying to about it. Yeah, vote exactly. That community note. But it's very telling to see another member of the industry get upset about this note. And going forward, this relates a lot to another game writer, mm -hmm. the narrative director on the Wolverine game that is upcoming. We talked about this individual. <laughs> By the way, didn't a Wolverine game get leaked and it was terrible? It did, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is not really good, is it? In my previous video, because they supported you think the another movie? game designer. That was the, the movie? Osama, really? This I is a person a game. who, in one of the replies of this game, this narrative mm -hmm. writer replied saying, you can't be racist to whites, period. 
where, of course, this of game course. writer, Mary Kenny, would like that tweet. Well, their Naturally. support has continued. Since then, they have retweeted this absolute... As I said, bro, it's like whenever you were kids and everybody gets together and they try to one-up each other with being stupid. It's like, oh, you think you can be stupid? Well, look what I could do. That's nothing. This isn't even my final form. Stinker from Osama, where it says, racism is systematic oppression by definition, with a Merriam-Webster uh -huh. uh, dictionary link right here. White people are not systematically oppressed. Racism is systematic oppression by definition. Just look it up. It's actually incredible to me that they, like, how do you post something like this? Do you just expect nobody to click on the link? <laughs> I just, it's just so, so sad. It's not possible to be racist mm -hmm. to white people. It is possible to be bigoted towards white people. These two things are not the same. I'm not punching you. I'm hitting you. I'm not speeding. I'm driving fast. How many of you guys did this in school? You said I wasn't running. I was walking fast. I, I tried to do this. They, did, they didn't like that, did they? That's so stupid, right? Bro, who do you think you're fooling with this? The only people that are trying to draw this kind of a distinction, do you know what they are? They're racists. That's the reason why they're trying to draw the distinction is so they can be racist. Is that they have a tier list of bad behavior and they think that being racist is worse than being bigoted. So it's okay to be bigoted, but not racist. So that's why it's okay. To, it's just, it's so stupid and self-serving. It's astonishing to me that anybody who actually has a working brain would believe any of this. First it's off, an excuse to be racist. It what is. What you're saying is, it is. No, I'm not a racist. I'm just a bigot. It, it, <laughs> is who that are these people? What you want to go with? Is that your yeah. final answer on this situation? It's so embarrassing. But as people have pointed out, it's like this guy didn't even click on the link that he shared. <laughs> because if yeah. you go into the first definition, it includes one that you know, would, like the main definition of it. It's like, how do you not think of that? Capture white people as well. And uh -huh. you look at other definitions of racism, even if you plug it into Google, you will get yeah. other definitions from Oxford, for example. They're all that the same. include white people as a target of racism. It's just mm -hmm. an embarrassing tweet, and it's something that Mary Kenny has shared. And once again, like many of these other people involved, has gone private. And like I pointed out in my- Good, you go and talk your shit. You go put your opinion out there in a public space and then people don't like it. Yeah, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. Get the fuck out. Like, yeah, that's right. If you put stupid fucking opinions out there, you're obnoxious and rude, and then people don't like it, you're not a victim whenever people say, you're obnoxious, stop talking, shut the fuck up. Jesus Christ, this is so pathetic. Previous video, going private. aren't you a bit concerned that the narrative writer or narrative director for Wolverine has such a uh -huh. hatred towards white people, and yet the main character of that game is a white person? Isn't that concerning about the quality of that game? That somehow their beliefs are going to bleed over into their work? It seems like a very likely... Of course these people's beliefs are going to bleed over into their work. Duh! Yeah, of course that's what happens. That's what happens with all kinds of media. ...concern and rational concern to have based on these circumstances. But again, let's just pause. Everyone pause for a second and let's just remember where we are. What is going on? We're getting into a million conversations about racism, the definition of racism. and I can't believe these people thought it was a good idea to farm the death of the Dragon Ball Z creator, the moment that it happened for some sort of like racism points thing. Like, how do you like this? Is Remember what I was saying before about how these people probably have like no real normal friends and they don't know how to act in, in public. 
And like, if you went to, like, if you went to like high school or college with these people, you wouldn't want to be around them because they're just fucking weird. What can be racism and what isn't, but we're, this all began with Sweet Baby mm -hmm. Inc. A curation list right here that now has passed over 200,000 followers a lot of people. on Steam. But this is a group. All it's doing is tracking games yeah. publicly listed as clients by Sweet Baby Inc. Not to mention the fact that all these claims that this group is racist, it seems pretty odd and seems like a reach when the creator is a Brazilian man. It's right. So, like, how could he be racist? Because he's he's like, it's systematic. And if white people are in the system, then how could he be racist? <laughs> Wait. Wait, I'm not sure if this makes sense. Uh-oh, by their own logic? Uh-uh, so, no, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. See, you assumed that it was logic. You made a mistake there. You thought this was logic, bro. They're just making it up. All so ridiculous. Yep. And we reported this yesterday that there is a movement going around. Gonna There's be. a big concern that a lot of reports were being made against this Steam group. And some people were concerned that it might get taken down. And this was something that uh -huh. was directly addressed on stream by the creator of the Steam mm -hmm. group, Cabrutus. And as you can see, it was a pretty dire situation there for a moment. I have received a warning on Steam that if I don't take uh, actions on solving, resolving this report, the report, the, tester, the group could be taken the down. So, I mean, I have my all my moderator staff looking into it right now. What do I need to do? I need to uh, resolve the reports, the every single one of them. There are more than one. The uh, there are more than a thousand of them. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, all my moderators are working on are them right now. Case. Problem is, the scene is kind of bugging, so there are some reports that they are solving that they cannot delete. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy Yeah, there's to probably bad actors and stuff like that in any group. It's the same as anything. I mean, I... yeah. ...share with you this message from Cabrutus stating, It is with great pride that I say, based Valve. Thank you, mm -hmm. Valve Software, for respecting That's your right. players' That's right. freedom of choice. And of course, here's a message from Steam saying, Hi, no worries. We'll be glad to assist Common you Gabe because w. we have provided all the information we have for your issue. I'm closing this help there request. If you have an unrelated issue, please open a new help request and we will be happy to help. So it looks like Steam the support has Elden come Lord. through now. I'm not yep. exactly uh, exonerating Valve forever. They have plenty of other things that they need to do better. But in this case, I have to say I'm very yeah. delightfully impressed. I'll with the take way a that W. This is great. And all I can say is good on them for sticking up for gamers. And as Cabruta says, the player's freedom of choice. We should be informed on what games companies like Sweet Baby Inc. are working on. That is not hurting anyone. It's simply oh, it informing is. a potential customer. That's why they don't want you to do it in a game that they might have interest in obtaining. They absolutely, but don't overall, need to do it. Yeah. that's where we're at with the situation for now. I'm sure it's going to continue. Now, what is the solution to avoid a Gamergate 2.0 or the ongoing Gamergate since it really never ended since these people have been doing the stuff behind the scenes this whole time? But anyways, how does this stop? Well, I think it stops. It's not, you, you, you want this to go away, stop buying the products. So this is my advice, okay? You have to stop giving people your money. And if you stop giving them your money, then things will immediately change. So I'd like to use Throne and Liberty as an example. Throne and Liberty had a beta test and NCSoft lost 10% of their stock because of how bad the beta test was. Somehow, miraculously, by some sort of divine intervention, within one month, the entire combat system was changed. How did that happen? It must have been magic. In Shadowlands, at the beginning of the expansion, the lead guy for World of Warcraft, I'm not going to get into specifics, we all know Ian. Ian said that it would be impossible to allow players to change their covenants whenever they wanted. And it would also be impossible to just let people change their conduits whenever they wanted. These were little systems in the game that gave you different advantages and people wanted to be able to change them whenever they wanted. And they were so adamant about that. They said, if we change this, is our game truly an RPG anymore? And so, people quit the game. 
And after enough people quit the game, somehow they figured out a way to fix it, and they changed it. And it was no problem. It was crazy how fast it happened, too. Because it was only, like, maybe a couple of months after there was a massive exodus away from the game. Then everybody was like, oh, wow, wait, we're actually losing players? Now we're going to change our behavior. Because the truth is that these companies will do whatever will make them money. They don't have any values. They don't have any morals. They don't have any ethics. They don't have any principles. They only exist to eat and make money. And if you don't give them their money, they'll do what you want. Because that's the only thing that they care about. So if you want this stuff to change, stop giving them money. And it will change overnight. By simply taking accountability. All yep. Sweet Baby Inc. has to do is come out and say, these statements by our employees are not good. We don't stand by them. And that we're wouldn't going change to anything. punish them, let them go, whatever. And then just move no, I, I don't want to see, like, does, should this person lose their job because of that? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Like, it's hard to say, like, starting a harassment campaign. Like, I don't think that really... Like, I, I don't generally like seeing people, like, lose their job or get fired for things that they say on social media. Like, you know, starting a hate brigade against somebody is, like, kind of different because they're also, like, it's complicated, right? There's a lot of nuance to this one. So, like, maybe I would probably, if I thought about this long enough, I could probably arrive at the same position that you guys feel. Um, but overall, it's something that I instinctively kind of try to stay away from because I find that to be problematic. However, um, these people also would do that to you. And I think this is very important to keep in mind. I don't think that you should ever try to hold or like if people would do something bad to you, then you should never feel bad doing it to them. Don't ever hold yourself accountable to some higher degree of morality. This is a massive mistake that bad actors will use advantage or sorry, use to their advantage and take advantage of in order to trick you and to have you go easier on them. Always go as far as you can with this stuff. Always do it. And if they're trying to get you shut down and you don't agree with having somebody shut down, you should do the exact same thing. Because if you don't do it, they'll do it to you. Never take the high road. Yes, I have no problem going on the high road, but if somebody meets you on the low road, you have to meet them there. You can't high road people. If they're taking the low road, you have to meet them there. On, and these gaming journalists stop making articles. Bing, bang, boom, this situation is likely going to die down within a day or two, but that's not what's happening. And it's being mm -hmm. carried on largely by gaming journalists at this point, and I don't see it stopping because they can't stop tweeting. They keep making things worse. I feel like these gaming journalists, at least for many years, have not been paid attention to. And now gamers have a laser point on them, and they're watching everything they say and tweet and it's getting made fun of and called out, and that's what it's you not to their benefit, and it's making the situation a lot worse. But for now, that is the situation. I'm sure something crazy will happen in the next hour of this video going live, but that's just the way it is, and I'll have to report on whatever happens in the next one. But for now, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, share your thoughts about today's topics in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys next time. If you want this stuff to go away, all that you need to do is stop giving it money. Do you remember whenever Diablo 4 said they weren't going to stop making you farm Renown, and then everybody stopped playing Season 1? And then guess what happened? Well, they got rid of Renown. Everything is possible. You can do anything you want. All you need is enough people. And it doesn't matter what happens, or what it is, or anything else like that. You just have to get enough people together, and anything is possible. And so, yeah, if you want a for-profit company to change its behavior... Stop giving it profit because it only exists to make profit. That's the video. This is a great video. I, I, I was very glad I watched this. Uh, the whole thing wasn't really only about one uh, of the most th diverse. This, you will, uh, you know, you know the, the Toriyama thing or Toriyama thing, but you know, it's still definitely a part of it. And I think, again, these people are just, I, I think they're having some kind of um, like mental meltdown. Because this is the first time that they've been in a space that they couldn't completely control the narrative. And that's what I was talking about before, where the ideas and the values that these people have 
cannot exist in a free marketplace of ideas. They cannot exist in a democratic or a, uh, you know, a Darwinistic way. These ideas can only exist whenever they are protected and kept safe from other ideas that are stronger and better than they are.